Hi there, this is Dr. Ridwan. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about the meiosis cell division. Meiosis is a Greek word which means reduction. Obviously the next question arises is reduction of what? A short answer to that question is reduction of chromosomes. In the human body, each and every cell that is not a gamete contains 46 chromosomes in the nucleus. These chromosomes occur in pairs. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Among them, 22 pairs are called autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome. Each pair contains identical copies of chromosomes except the sex chromosomes. They are different. Meiosis produces four daughter cells. Each of them has 23 chromosomes. A cell that only has 23 chromosomes is called a haploid cell. Before a cell goes into mitosis or meiosis cell divisions, they go through a phase which is called the interphase. What happens in the interphase is the duplication of the DNA, which results in the formation of two identical chromatids of a single chromosome. They are called the sister chromatids. They remain joined together at the centromere. In this way, a cell nucleus gets 92 chromatids. It is safe to assume these chromatids as new chromosomes, because once they get separated, they become independent chromosomes. During this interface stage, we actually get 92 chromosomes. Let's talk about the meiosis now. Meiosis cell division has two parts, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In meiosis 1, a parent cell divides into two daughter cells. Each of these daughter cells get 46 chromatids. Later in meiosis 2, these 46 chromatids further get separated into two daughter cells, each one containing only 23 chromatids. Meiosis 1 has four phases of its own. Prophase 1, Metaphase 1, Anaphase 1, and Telophase 1. And meiosis 2 has four phases as well. Prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. However, meiosis 1, prophase 1 has five chronological events. They happen one after another. They are leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, and diakinesis. In the leptotin stage, nothing really happens except the chromosomes become condensed and visible. In the zygotin stage, chromosomes start to pair with their homologues. This process is called synapsis and a tetrad is formed. Tetra is a Greek prefix which means four. Tetrad is formed when four chromatids come close. Pairing is achieved by a protein structure which is called synaptonemal complex. As soon as the pairing is complete, zygotin ends. Pachytin is probably the most fascinating stage of them all. Because in this stage, crossing over happens. As the name suggests, genes cross one chromosome to another at this stage. And as a result, we get non-identical chromatids. But remember this, crossing over only happens to the autosomes, not in the sex chromosomes. So what we get after the crossing over is 88 non-identical chromatids. If you are finding it difficult to understand, then you can pause the video anytime and try to appreciate the numbers before you proceed any further. Now we have reached the meiosis 1, prophase 1, diplotin stage. In this stage, synaptonemal complex disappears and the chromatids condense further. This stage can be lengthy in different species.
nuclear membrane starts to disappear in the diakinesis stage and the spindle apparatus appears. But the chromosomes still remain attached at the site of chiasma. With this, meiosis 1 prophase 1 stage ends. All the chromosomes with their chiasma align on the equatorial plane and the spindle fibers start to pick up chromosomal centromeres. After the alignment is complete, the metaphase 1 ends. Spindle fibers start to retract towards opposite poles of the cell and they carry the chromatids with them. When 46 chromatids reach towards the opposite poles, the stage completes and the nuclear membrane starts to form again. Nuclear membrane formation is now complete and the cell cytoplasm is divided into two daughter cells. Each of these two daughter cells has 46 chromatids where 44 are autosomes and one pair of sex chromatids. As soon as the division completes, meiosis 1 ends. Meiosis 2 is exactly similar to mitosis but there is a very important difference. In mitosis, a parent cell starts with 92 chromatids and in meiosis 2, a parent cell starts with only 46 chromatids. Meiosis 2 starts with prophase 2 and ends with telophase 2. At the end, four haploid daughter cells are created. We will talk about meiosis 2 in brief in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below.